that swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Choosing the nine iron here. Yeah, that one's looking good. Well, that's beautifully judged. We've already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. A spot in the top ten on the line here, if they can hold this. And that puddle drop. Well done. And he'll move into the top ten. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That's heading for the fairway. Time to recap Billy Horschel's effort from just a short time ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot at the 10th. Opting for the nine iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. This one's tracking. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. To the top five he goes. He's currently tied for fourth. This hole is a par five. Well, this should be unpredictable. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Time for the fifth shot. Over the last handful of years, Rich, we've had a bunch of players come out on tour, but few have impressed more than Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas is this younger generation of player who's absolutely fearless. He knows that he belongs on the PGA Tour, and it shows week in and week out with his style of play. This one is heading to a really not so good space. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here, and they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This one's dialed in. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Play finds that player moving up the leaderboard. Oh, I tell you what. Inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard. And maybe feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum.
coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Where will this one end up? A few shots under par at the moment. Currently tied for second. Playing their fourth shot. One stroke off the lead. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, guys, it's about 22 feet to go here. Get in. And he holds it. What a putt. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Opting for the five wood. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Air mailed the green with that approach. And how about this highlight recently at the 14th? That absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Apart from the green here, just in the green side rough. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently a couple under for the event. We have a par five on this one. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. Not your best effort, still a mid-range putt coming up. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. It's tracking. Gets it to go down. And Patrick Cantlay, currently our leader. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Let's have a look at this highlight. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Yes, it's in. 
Let's return to live play now. Now, a long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? All good punters accelerate through the ball. Good punters will make these right on five feet. And the putt drops, now at three under, heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. Just one off the lead after that hole. Well, as you enter the dreaded snake pit here at Innisbrook's Copperhead Course, Rich, you know where you stand on the 16th tee. This tee shot forces your hand. You must take it down the right-hand side in order to have a good look at this green for your second shot. And all sorts of trouble. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. And this was from Billy Horschel from just a little while back. Second shot here. Nice putt to make that one. Second shot here on the 16th. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Lining up the birdie putt here. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Big putt for Pai coming up. Looks good off the blade. Solid par putt, that. Patrick Cantlay finds himself one shot clear at the top of the leaderboard. The Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. It's a tough tee shot plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. You like that, didn't you? 15 feet to the cup. So close. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Hey, that's a chance. Well done. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Our player currently in second, making a really great shot. I gotta say, from that spot, that's exactly what they were trying to do. And after this hole, that's how it looks. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the Snake Pit, and this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. Nicely done.
And this shot from about 150 yards out. Just a couple back from our leader. That's a pretty handy shot. This is a spot they'd love to get up and down from. Just two shots of pace. They're having a bit of pressure out there. Let's see how they handle it. And this punt for a final score of 68. That concludes his event. Well, that concludes our tournament, and the gap between victory ends up being three, Rich. Just needed to be a little bit sharper with the irons this week. Overall, they were good, but it was less than spectacular in spots. It's something they're going to need to go back and work on before the next event if they want to finish any better. However, finishing just three strokes back, that's got to give them a lot of confidence, a lot of belief in their game at the moment. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.